Hi everyone, so we're going to be responding to uh, one of the artists, Carl Schmidt Rotloff, and we're going to make a self-portrait expressionism piece. So first of all, pick up a lightest colour oil pastel that you can find. So it could be a yellow colour or this sort of mustardy kind of colour or grey or very light colour, light blue or skin tone, pink and so forth. Okay. And then you're going to first start with creating like an angular sort of U shape, okay? And you want to fill this whole A4 page on this side. So first things first, you're going to press down with your oil pastel and just be very expressive and an angular shape on the chin and then going up like so. And it should be pretty much centered and filling up the whole page like this is shown okay then once you've done that you're then going to try and create the uh, shape of the eyebrows and the nose so if you look at the artist's work you can see one side is lower than the other side so you're going to create a curved shape and then going down like an angular shape and the eyebrows going slightly higher like so okay once you've done that, you're then going to create that circular shape, which looks something like this. So using basic 2D shapes that you would have learned previously. And then on the other side, you've got a line like this and like half a semicircle. So you've got a semicircle, which is half a circle, and then a smaller semicircle like this. And then you're going to create the shape of the lips, which is quite angular sort of line, like so. And you're going to create sort of like an outside circle around like this. Very easy. Once you've done the basic outline of the face, which is very similar to the artist style of work, you're then going to add your hairstyle. Now, I know everyone's hairstyle is different and it will be a little bit of a challenge for you to try and attempt that. But all you need to think basically, as in just try to draw the outline of the shape of your hair um, in a very 2D kind of form. So for me, I've got like... Um, uh, I've got like a side fringe and my hair goes down quite long around here like so. But I'm going to show you what a short hair style might look like. So just to give you an idea. So I know that some hairstyles are hair. So think of it like as though you're drawing like a cartoon character and you're trying to create this sort of shape that goes around the side. And we've got hair coming around along here you can make it quite short doesn't need to be too accurate you're just getting a general sort of shape of your hair around the edge so you just want the outline of the outside and the hairline from your hairstyle okay um, i've given you some resources just to give you an idea how you might want to draw your hair okay um once you've done that, then you want to start thinking about the shapes. So if you look at artists' work, there's some shapes that's quite separated from the rest of the face. So you want to create this sort of fragmented shape around the face. You can make it very similar to the artist as well. And you might want to create a sort of triangular shape there and another shape there. So you want a range of large and small shapes. And maybe another shape around here and another shape around there. Okay. So now I've done the shape of my face. I've done the shape of my hair. Now I'm just going to add neck area. So if I look at the artist's work, there isn't really a neck. So it's more like the shoulders sort of hunches straight in to the shape of the head. So you're just going to create that line all the way to the edge of your book okay and you can create sort of your collar for those who are, might be wearing your uniform and you can sort of create these sort of angular shapes and so forth okay and then once you've done the outline 
it should look almost something similar to this. But again, this is an expressionist in piece. So it shouldn't look like a realistic version of you. It should be an expressionism piece of yourself. Okay.